Hey guys, Braylon here and welcome back to another smoldering review. This smoldering review is on the haunted computer sold at Target for Halloween 2019. Before we get into this video, stay tuned for an edited demo on KG and a KG and Rotten Ringmaster and Grimzel or Creepy Towering Clown, all three of them together demo. So stay tuned for that video coming out soon and KG's demo video. But for right now, we're going to be doing a video on the haunted computer. Um, I like this prop. I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner because they do like haunted TVs and radios and cameras and projectors and all sorts of electronics. So I'm surprised they didn't do a computer sooner but they did it now and that's all that matters i knew i had to get it when i seen it videos of it because it is a really cool prop and i really love the concept of it right now i just have it sitting on kg's box but it's going somewhere on the shelf of small props so you'll be seeing that soon um but without further ado let's get into detail on it it's kind of the it's a white computer and it has like gray like splatters on it and there's like a crack there it's like a crack, and then there's cracks and gashes all down the side of the computer, and there's a crack like that. And then these are kind of like the vents, I guess, or just inside the computer, and it's on both sides. There's the speaker. It's on both sides and goes around the back. Um, that's volume control, so it does have volume control back there, which is really cool. Um, there's the screen right there. And then here is the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is just black, like a normal keyboard. And the escape is in black writing, kind of like escape, like escape while you still can. And then the H is black. E L M P is black, like help. But what I, doesn't make sense to me is the O is black too. So it doesn't really make sense because help and then escape. But I just don't get the O black. So I don't know if that's a flaw or I don't know, just a bad design choice. But I don't know. Uh, when it when it turns on, there is a skull that appears on the screen, um, and it says "Help me." And the keyboard and side of the computer light up green, and the H E L P light up, and it spells out "Help." And another flaw is it starts to spell out "Help" again. It goes H E, but then it just stops. It should have done "Help" and then do "Me" instead, of just "He." But it was going to spell help again, but it just starts it and just does he. So I don't like that about it, but it's still cool. Um, this is where you would put, like, a disc in. Of course, it's not a real computer, but it's designed after a real computer. This is where you put, like, a disc or a CD or a DVD in. And then this over here is the on and off switch. And I think that's the sensor. I'm not sure. It might just be decoration. That might be the sensor. I don't know. I still have it on the try me because I like to keep them on the try me's so I can control when they go off. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into a demo of this computer. Really cool. Let's do it one more time. Really cool animatronic. Well, it's not really animatronic, but proper. I really like it. I really do. I wish it had a couple more phrases, but it's still cool just the way it is. Well, that's going to about do it for this morning view on the haunted computer. I'm about ready to find a place for it in the little mini prop area. Uh, stay tuned for KG's demo and a Rotten Ring Master KG and Creepy Tearing Clown all together video. Uh, I might even include Crouchy. Who knows? Just stay tuned for that video to find out exactly what animatronics I'll be turning on, but it'll be very interesting. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this morning view. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.